You know, one of the great questions that every Christian needs to ask in this hour is, what is grace? I can't think of any more important question to ask is about the concept and what is grace. Now, many people will use the acrostic grace as God's riches at Christ's expense. But I think the most important thing that we can say about grace is it is an undeserved gift. And one of the things that's starting to happen to American culture today is we're beginning to drift into something called an entitlement culture. In other words, there are many people today living in America, and particularly American Christians, who have this idea that we deserve something, that we deserve something from the government or, or we deserve something from others. And what's beginning to happen is in our culture, we're losing an understanding of gifts, we're losing our understanding of grace, and I believe it's really drifting over into the church today. You know, back in the 1960s, when John F. Kennedy became president, he gave probably one of the most famous inaugural lines during his presidential inauguration, in which he said, ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. Isn't it amazing that a politician had a better picture and understanding in some ways of gratitude and the response to grace than many of us today? Because even in our churches today, we see many people thinking that the church's job is to do stuff for us. And therefore, we come on Sunday and the church is supposed to give us stuff, do things for us, entertain us, make our children feel good, give us programs. But the reality is, is we should be asking that question and the same question Kennedy posed in the 1960s. Ask not what the church can do for us but ask what we can do for our church. And of course, ultimately, John Kennedy and everyone that uses that line is really borrowing from the Lord Jesus Christ. Because our Lord said, don't come into the world to be served, but actually be a servant to others. Of course, just like the Lord Jesus himself. So if we apply good biblical theology, we're gonna move away from an entitlement culture in our churches, in our culture, we're gonna become servants and respond in the way that we've been given his amazing grace. May the Lord help us to do that this day and always.